Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be checking out Wall Street Journal's video called Inside the AI Tech Making Clones of Hollywood's Biggest Actors. And then we'll discuss it after. Let's go. Three, two, one. This is one of the first steps in a trend that could upend the way movies are made. Her purse was full of useless trash. AI gives Hollywood producers the ability to capture a scan of a star and use it to do, well, pretty much anything. For example, neither of these guys is the real me. But the technology used to do that comes with big risks, especially for actors. So I visited the CAA vault. We'll just step you in. A studio created by one of Hollywood's top talent agencies to give actors control of their digital doubles. There's no way to imagine a future world without this. I don't quite know what to anticipate here, but I'm excited to see what happens. The CAA vault houses four different stations that record an actor's body, face, movements, and voice. I feel like Jodie Foster in Contact. They yeah. should have sent a poet. Dominic Ridley, the director of VFX company Clear Angle Studios, works with CAA to create these digital scans. With shooting those 17 different lighting fires, we get to see how the, the light is reacting to your materials mm -hmm. and your skin, etc. The first step in the process is a 3D full body scan. Yeah. Why is this the pose? So this is basically just allowing us to capture all the inside of your arm and hands mm -hmm. while still being nice and relaxed. It's hard not to be a little nervous. And that's it. One and a half seconds, that just is your full body capture. It's like a red carpet. It shoots 17 different lighting environments in just 1.2 seconds. Those few seconds capture more than 200 images that look like these. Later, all of the images will be used in a process called photogrammetry, which brings together hundreds of 2D images in order to create a 3D image of my body. The next step in the process is a range of motion scan. Once it start, you start feeling that kind of tension, don't go too far past that. Okay. This um, is like following a workout video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just like following a workout video. This is for all the beach scenes you're <laughs> filming me in. As the technology has grown more popular in the industry, actors are worried about their digital doubles being used without their consent. The use of AI doubles was a major sticking point in the recent union negotiations between actors and studios. AI, bye, bye. I'd imagine AI is a bigger and bigger part of your day. Yeah, AI became something that we as a, as a company were aware of a long time ago. Brian Lord is CEO of the Creative Artists Agency, which represents actors like Tom Hanks, Cate Blanchett, and Zendaya, and is the company behind the CAA vault. What we believe is that an individual, whether you're famous or not, should own your digital presence. And the simple concept of the vault was to get out ahead of this. As the tech becomes more accessible, AI doubles could change the way actors work. For example, they could avoid hours in their trailer thanks to digital makeup, or they could use their double for reshoots while they move on to another project. So far, there's been little protection around how these digital doubles are used. There isn't any federal law protecting this kind of likeness, and local laws vary from state to state. Many scans are owned by studios, not actors. And payment is also an issue. How much should an actor make when their double is used instead of them? Outside of work, anyone can create their own scans to make deep fakes that do or say anything. I'm gonna show you some magic. The agency says the CAA vault is aimed at solving these issues, since all of the scans taken at the vault belong to the actors. So that means at the end of the day, my digital identity and all of the scans used to create it will belong to me. That includes my next one, a face scan in a machine called Dorothy. She encapsulates the highest technology that we have at Clearing the Studios. And in this system, we're gonna capture your face in the highest detail, both for a 3D scan, we can do 4D scanning as well. Do you feel like you're living in the future? Um, no, my wife keeps me very grounded. Ah. Yeah. It captures the face in two sessions. The first for use with photogrammetry, like in the full body scan. What this does is it just allows very, very high qualities of alignment. And when you're a 3D model, we can stabilize your 3D models around the cubes on your head. Each 
three-second capture grabs nearly 700 images. This is followed by a series of 76 different facial expressions with just a single flash. That was the perfect outer brow razor, which is oh, this I, one. I, yeah. Really? The second stage is a capture for generative AI, which is a series of images used by a machine learning platform to recreate my image in 2D. This includes the full spectrum of mouth movements, so my double can say any word and appear authentic. To give the system enough options, I had to express a lot of emotions about a beige fox. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. The lights flash in very specific patterns in this scan to simulate different environments. And then we can replicate the lighting from the set in here and then redo the performance. Those scans come out looking something like this, allowing my double to be placed in different environments without the lighting looking unnatural. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Then the last stage, a scan of my voice. I could try to do like a British accent. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. So why do you have me saying these sentences? Why do we care so much about women with trash in their purses and, and smoky flames? These are words and phrases that will cover every possible sound to make other phrases or words happen, if that makes sense. So from this collection of random sounds and sentences, you can have me say or do anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> CAA then stores the scans and says they have a layer of security to protect the data. Then I could hand off my digital mask to VFX studios, like CAA Vault's partner, Deep Voodoo. They can then make a digital rendering of, well, me. While the tech is a major talking point in Hollywood right now, CAA says it's not just actors being scanned. Musicians, athletes, directors, and content creators have also gone through the process. But there's a lot of uncertainty about this technology. For example, it's unclear how it could impact work in Hollywood for people who aren't major stars, or what its implications might be in politics or our everyday lives. I feel like that the, when you see this technology, the first response is, oh my god, this is so cool. And the second response is, this oh could god. ruin the world. Yeah, yeah. Does it keep you up at night, and do you worry about that as you try to, in some ways, advance this technology? Yes. I mean, I think it was a big fundamental question that we had to ask ourselves is, do we bury our heads in the sand, or do we embrace this and go after it? And so we think we all have a responsibility to embrace it, but to embrace it with some sort of ethics and morals and, and fairness in mind. Now, I wanted to kind of share this video with you all because, as you all know, I've been posting a lot of my MetaHuman Carbon uh, likeness of me, myself. Now, I wanted you all to see why Unreal Engine 5 MetaHumans are really amazing. When MetaHumans first came out and I started covering MetaHumans, I had animators... 3D modelers kind of laugh at me and say, oh, yeah, that's like a toy or whatever. But I didn't look at it that way. Because sometimes people don't see the potential of something until it's all laid out in front of them. Now, with that being said, with all of these technologies that they showed here with the different cameras and rigs, how much do you think it would cost for you to get a likeness 3D model? Additionally, take that number for the 3D model. I want you to put and add how much you think it's going to cost to rig your 3D model. Because as you saw here on the video, they didn't mention a thing about rigging the models that they were scanning. Because that's what people are not understanding when they're whenever they're starting to get into this unreal engine meta, meta humans i've had people kind of flex on me oh like oh yeah i know the studio that has like 360 photograph photogrammetry type of setup they're going to scan me or whatever and and i say good luck because photo scanning is one piece of the puzzle but you also have to rig it and if you watch closely even in this video the animated part of this dude was actually just deep fake if you go right here that's just deep fake. That means they didn't even rig the 3D model that 
they scan this dude for, right? And again, I'm trying to put everything in perspective because like you all saw with my MetaHuman, I photo scanned myself using one Panasonic S5. One DSLR that's not even like high end, top of the end stuff. And I'm able to get it rigged and I'm able to animate it facially. And this is why I thought when MetaHumans first came out, and I kept saying it, it's not about the look of the MetaHuman. That's incredible. It's the face rig. It's the bones inside the MetaHumans. Again, similar to this, if you were to walk into to this studio and get photo scanned, they're just going to give you a 3D model. It's pretty much a statue at that point. Now, they might have rigging services, but that's what people are not understanding is you have to pay extra for that rigging services as well. So again, it's super exciting, super exciting to know that somebody at home can technically rival studios and companies like what you're seeing here. And I'm not trying to knock, knock them down or anything like that, but I feel like as a filmmaker, as, as a user, we need to start realizing what we have instead of complaining about what we don't have. Because it's funny, I uploaded that video, I think two days ago, and I kid you not, I've been getting messages left and right saying I did not know that this likeness was possible with an Unreal Engine 5 MetaHuman. I didn't know this quality could be reached with the Unreal Engine 5 MetaHumans. I'm talking about VFX industry people, right? And this is really the main reason why I swat my channel to Unreal Engine 5 and then MetaHumans ever since they released. Because even though it might not look as good as these 400, 700 camera photo scans, at the end of the day, with one camera, it's usable. If you have no idea what video I'm talking about, I know I'm going to show a little clip here, but check the link in the description below. All right. And, and it's pretty darn exciting because, again, the technology is still very much so very young. MetaHumans are pretty much 1.0 right now, and it's just going to get better. That's it for this video. I just wanted to show you this video here so you can kind of see how professionals, how they do it without Unreal Engine 5 MetaHumans. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about how much it would cost for you to get photo scanned here. I'm not talking about expressions either. Don't count that. Just photo scan, photogrammetry of your face likeness and then get it rigged uh, face and body. I'm curious to know what y'all think. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.